On all of my social media profiles, I send people to one specific page on my Squarespace website. This page is designed to have whatever content I happen to be promoting or posting at the time. I can add videos, I can add images, specific links, even a link to my newsletter form. It gives me complete control over the design of the content for that social media landing page. And in this video, I'll teach you exactly how to create your own in Squarespace. I'm Becca from Inside the Square, and I've outlined the steps that we're going to take together in the description underneath this video. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen, and I'll teach you exactly how to create your own custom landing page for your social media profiles using Squarespace. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and on the left-hand side of the screen, I'm going to open up my Pages menu to see a list of the pages in my website. This section right here is the not linked section, and this is where we want to add the page for our social links. I'm gonna click this plus sign and we'll select blank page. I'll go ahead and title this page social so we know what we're working with, and you'll see we've added this page, but it's not a part of our main navigation. It's in the not linked section of our site. Before we add the page content, we have a few adjustments to make in the settings. I'm going to click on the settings gear icon right here, and you'll see we have the navigation option. Here we can turn off the header and the footer of this page, so people will focus on the page content, the links we want them to click. I'll turn off the header, but I'm actually going to leave show footer, and I'll tell you why. We'll select save, and I want you to see on my screen here, the header's gone, but I want to make sure that I keep the terms and conditions and privacy policy and my disclaimer visible on this landing page. You might have a completely different business than mine, but I prefer to keep those links visible on every page of my website, but I don't need this section right above it with the additional links, social links, and my newsletter. Let's go ahead and select edit. I'm going to select edit site footer, and here, when I select edit section for the section that I don't want to see, I want you to notice at the very bottom, I've given it a name, hashtag footer dash nav. That is very important. Let's go ahead and copy this text right here. We're going to select exit and inside the settings for this particular page, I'm going to hop into advanced and I'm going to use code to hide that section. I'm going to type style then the computer will automatically close that style bracket for me. So we'll enter a line between the two and we'll start this line with a hashtag and the name of that section. I had named it footer-nav. That's its anchor name and that's what we're gonna use here. Then I'll open up a curly bracket and say display none exclamation point important. This is my way of telling the computer, here's a style change. When you see a section that has this name, don't display it and I mean it, this is really important. Now we're done with our style change. We'll select save, the computer will refresh, and now you'll see that section is gone, but we still have the important sections that I wanted to see. Now it's time to customize the content of this page. I'm going to select edit on the top left-hand side of the screen and we'll add a brand new section. I prefer to start with the blank section, but if any of these pre-designed sections suit the style of the content you want to add, you go for it. Click one of these to get started or select add blank section. On the top right hand side of the screen, I'm going to select edit section and let's change this color to one of my lighter colors. The default was this darker color and I don't wanna start with that. We'll start with the lighter one. All right, now let's add some content. On the top left hand side of the screen, I'll select add block and let's go ahead and place our logo here. I'm going to add an image. I'll drag this to the center of the page and click this plus sign. And now you can upload a file directly or select the image from your library if you're already using your logo on your site. Once you've uploaded your image, this part's really important, make sure you link it to your home page. I'm going to select attach link, and I know my home page is titled home, so it's easy for me to grab this link right here. We'll click on this option and make sure it doesn't open in a new tab. If we have this toggled on, it will open our home page in a new tab. They can stay on the same screen, so I'll turn that off, and there we go. Now we have our logo and it's linked to the home page. All right, I'm going to select edit section and here I'm gonna go ahead and toggle off fill screen. So I have the ability to place that logo much higher up on the page closer to the top. I think that's gonna look a lot better for my design. So I'll just mess around with that a little bit. There we go. Next, we can add any other type of content that we want to to this particular page. For this social page, I'll go ahead and add a few buttons. I'll move this to the center. Maybe we'll call this one current specials and we can attach a link that goes directly to our shop page here inside Squarespace. 
go ahead and pull that down to make the button larger. There we go. And how about we add another block? Let's go ahead and add a newsletter block. We'll type newsletter and grab this content block here and scoot this to the center. Perfect. For this newsletter block, there are quite a few settings here for the design and the storage. So if you're going to use a newsletter, definitely check that information out. And you know what? Let's go ahead and add one more image and another link. I'll move this block down a little bit lower on the page here. We can duplicate this button. We'll have current specials and we'll have, how about a contact us? There we go. I'll make that a little bit larger again. Perfect. And let's go ahead and add an image. We'll select add block and image. Clicking this plus sign, again, I can upload one or grab one from my library. There we go. Now I'll go ahead and drag this to the center of the page. Let's scoot this newsletter block down a little bit. And for this image, I'm going to go ahead and click the edit option. And we're going to hop into design and have it fill the space right here. So it really focuses on the flowers. Perfect. Now, if we look at the mobile version of our site, we're going to see all of the same content, but things are a little bit different in the layout. So let's adjust mobile because most people will be using their phones to see this. We can pull the current special button over, the contact us, we have our image, our newsletter block, fantastic. Now you can get as customized with this section as you want. On my own website here at insidethesquare.co forward slash social, I update these links to reflect what I'm posting about. And I also have my newsletter block. And again, you'll see what I talked about. I've got my legal information here at the very bottom, which for me is important to keep on this landing page, but very customizable. You can add images. You can change this section to have a background image if you want to adjust the colors, even add a video block right here on your own social media landing page. Just make sure the mobile version looks good by clicking on this mobile view icon and adjusting the content. Back here inside the desktop version, this is where we add the content. Select add block and add anything you want. Maybe a video, an audio, an FAQ accordion. You've got a lot of options to work with. And again, you have complete control over this design and this page will be on your own Squarespace website. I'll go ahead and select save and exit. And one last time I'm going to show you, we added this to the not linked section of our site. Here inside the settings, we clicked on the navigation and we toggled off the header. We removed the navigation so the only real actionable options on this page are to click the links that we've created. After that, we left show footer on, but in the advanced section, we hid one section of the footer that we didn't want people to see by naming that section and then telling the computer browser not to display it. An important thing to note about these page settings is inside the general tab, this is where you change the URL slug. You'll notice that mine is inside the square.co forward slash social. That was easy for me to remember, and it's easy for me to add that as the link to all of my social media profiles. But here inside Squarespace, you can customize this to whatever you want it to say. I hope you found this video helpful for your creative Squarespace adventures. I'm Becca from Inside the Square, and underneath this video, you'll find all of the steps that we just took together and a link to my original blog post with additional resources in case you want to learn more. If you have any questions about Squarespace, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Good news, Squarespacer. We finally have an AI that truly understands Squarespace. Meet Custom Cody. Built specifically for Squarespace users and trained on every nuance of the program, Custom Cody is your AI-powered assistant for effortless expert-level Squarespace customization. Available now at customcody.com.